Choctaw quarterback Tommy Rear joins us now as we look forward to today's uh, senior day game against Texas Lutheran University. Tommy, thanks so much for uh, taking your time for us. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, how it was to uh, get some experience as a freshman and then have to wait uh, for your time to play again uh, over the next uh, year or so and finally get a chance to, to play in your junior and senior seasons. Uh, well, that, that honestly was probably the hardest part, or hardest part, you know, other than the pressure just being a quarterback period. Just, you know, you come in and then you play and you're like, oh, wow, this is awesome. Then you, next season, you have to wait. And you're sitting on the sideline and you know what it's like to play. You know what it's like to be in the game but there's really not much you can do about it. You're just itching to get in there, and there's, I mean, with a guy like Adam, wasn't much I could do. What did that experience as a freshman, uh, how did that benefit you now that as you look back, you can see some of the things you learned as a freshman that it helped you in your junior and your senior seasons? Well, uh, it just kind of helped me get used to the game speed, you know. Everybody always talks about how much faster college speed is than high school and then you, everybody will be like, oh, it's not that no, much different when you're standing on the sideline, but you really don't know until you get in there and play. And I got it a, you know, freshman, I got to understand that really quick and understand it better. I know it helps every week to know that you've got your coach in your corner and uh, even the times when you've struggled, uh, Coach Joe has stuck with you. And uh, talk a little bit about the relationship between you and Coach Joseph you've developed over the years. Well, Coach Joe's a great guy I and mean, he's, he's always, Freshman year, something he always talked about that was so funny to me, and we talked about it like two or three weeks ago, is he said Monday was install, Tuesday was kind of install some more, Wednesday he would tear me down when I didn't do good, and he would make me, I mean, he pretty much made me feel like crap, but not on purpose, just coaching. And then Thursday and Friday was just rebuilding me back up, trying to build my confidence back up. It was just an ongoing process, he said, with me. And I still think he does it because he calls me a rockhead. So, I mean, it's just he does the same thing, and it, it really helps to know that he trusts me like that because two weeks ago I, I probably would have pulled me after three picks, and he still stuck with me. I, that means a lot. You've uh, thrown to a lot of different receivers in your time here at Mississippi College, a lot of really great players who played wide receiver for MC over the years. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the guys that you've been thrown to this year. First of all, that those, those set of receivers, the, the upperclassmen, uh, Randall and, and Brian and Matt Burke. Uh, well, Rookie came in with me. Uh, Burke was here when I got here, and then the knee injury brought him back. Uh, rookie's, you know, he's one of them deceptive kind of receivers. He, we, we joke about it with our buddies all the time. He always finds a way to get behind everybody. And he's not very tall, he's not fast, but he, he can break you down. Uh, Randall, we make fun of the way Randall runs, but Randall will just blow right by you like nobody's been, I think, call him Sunshine, just joking. <laughs> And then Burke, Burke's just a great leader. He runs his routes real well, good blocker. I mean, he's just one of them guys that if you, you need a catch and you know someone's going to make a catch, you can throw it to Matt Burke. And some of the new faces here in just the last two or three ball games, uh, Demir and Buford Hughes and Demetrius Randolph and uh, Stephen Smith, these guys have come up and they can show they can really catch the ball. Yes, sir, they did. Uh, Buford was here with me this summer. I stayed this summer and uh, worked, and Buford came up, worked out, threw with us, and you know, when you look at him, you're just like, that guy's a great looking kid. And I mean, and he early he had problems like learning the offense and then just here recently he's caught fire and I'm really glad he has. And then DJ had a good year, good year last year and he's been good. And then uh, Steve Smith, that was he was one of them guys early in the season you could tell was going to be able to contribute to the team. Now we kind of make a joke out of the fact that maybe you haven't learned how to slide just yet when you're scrambling with the football, but that really isn't something that's Seems to be in your DNA as a quarterback, is it? Uh, no, sir. Uh, high school, that's all I did really was run the ball. I was more of a runner than I was a passer. And I, sometimes it, I think it, for me, I'd use it to maybe make a statement that I ain't here to just cower down. I'm going to, you got me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to try to run over you. It might not work sometimes, but I'm going to try to at least. And I get made fun of on the sideline and people tell me, dude, you got to learn to get down. <laughs> but it just, just not something I want to do. I just try to make a statement really. Is that something that you had kind of had to convince Coach uh, Coach Joseph and your and your scrambling ability to let you run with the football like that? Uh, well, that's one of the main reasons I guess when I came in as a freshman that I actually played is I was one of the dudes that ran like the wildcat package because I could actually run. So I think he's he's noticed that I can still run a little bit. I'm not near as fast as I was, but I think he realizes that there's still a little something there. Let's talk about the Sol Ross game momentarily. Uh, down 21 to nothing earlier, the offense really kind of sputtered there in the early going. But as we've seen in lots of games, uh, Choctaws were able to come back and take the lead there early in the uh, 
early in the second half. You didn't get the win, but I think you got to be pleased with how your team was able to pick up the pace as the game went along. Uh, yes, sir. We definitely uh, we started off real, real slow, real sluggish. Like we, I, we, I said on the sidelines, like we were asleep, really. And then we just come out. I mean, it's like I was saying earlier before we even started. You know, it's like the tale of two teams. You know, you got the home team that's always prepped and ready and doesn't back down and it's full go. And then we've struggled real bad on, away this year. And, you know, it just, it's back and forth. We start off real, real slow, get behind, and then we kick it on. I think we scored 21 points in seven minutes. And then we scored a touchdown in 42 seconds. And then we get down again, offense sputters again, and then we pick it up again. It's just, it's just a tell of two teams, like which one's going to show up, what, when it's going to kick in, and when it's not going to kick in. You know, it's just got to, it makes you wonder away. And I hope, you know, that, the whole the whole home team shows up this weekend. We've got senior day today against Texas Lutheran, and this is a Bulldog team that beat the Choctaws last year in Seguin, and uh, so you know that they had a really great start to the season. They've kind of tailed off uh, as of late. What have you seen on film about the Bulldogs that you're prepared for? Uh, well, they're uh, they're going to be a good team. They're always like last year. We noticed that they were a lot better team than they were in the past. They're uh, they're a lot better coached than what we thought. And I mean, last year I think we just came in underestimating them. So this year we're trying to not underestimate them. We're, it's more of a coach says it's a big game because we pretty much got embarrassed last year. So we're coming coming out for revenge. What are you going to remember the most about your time playing football here at Mississippi College? Uh, well, it's you know I've enjoyed playing football here, but a lot of it is you know the friend the friendship and the bonds that I've made with some of my fellow players. I mean they're all really good players and really good buddies, but I've made some of probably the best friends of my entire life here and uh, probably people I'll talk to until I'm 80. And it's just something special, you know, connection with your offensive linemen, receivers, you know, stuff like that, that a lot of people don't experience when they don't go to college and play college ball. You mentioned your offensive line. I just noticed in the Saul Ross game last week that uh, they really did a good job at forming that pocket for you, and you are able to stay in the pocket, had some time to throw last week. Uh, yes, yeah, so they've, gotten, they've gotten better every week, and I've had confidence in them every time. I mean, people, Outside, I, I know my parents say there's a lot of people in the crowd that dog them, but I mean, I, I don't doubt them for one minute. I stay with them. I tell them it's all right. Somebody will miss a block, and they'll be like, man, I'm sorry. And I'll be like, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's okay. I know stuff happens. You know, just got to stick with them, and I'm not, not afraid to stand back there with them. I'll go to war with them. Well, you've got about another year here at Mississippi College before you graduate. Right now, what do you think your plans are? Mm, I'm going to try to stay here. I'm going to stay here, actually. And maybe next fall i got a student teach. And I think Coach Joe said I could uh, you know, stay and help coach here. Or I might try to help wherever I'm student teaching. But I'll probably do that and then probably go home and, and try to coach somewhere down back home. We think you make a great coach, and we uh, wish you luck today in the game. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.